Hello and welcome to Hobby Homies. We are your weekly tabletop podcast. I'm Shane, as always, chilling with Fox. Howdy. Today, we are remastering an old classic. Oh. And classic is a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Not the good classic as in like it's uh, it holds up against time. And no. it's still beautiful in its own way. It's not like the old refrigerator in the old, in the shed, you know, it's been just humming away since like 1970s. It's classic like mini discs. Yeah. Oh, CD-ROM? Like no. Like the, middle, the mini ones. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like, why does this exist? Do we need it? It's that kind of classic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the questions you ask yourself every Sunday when these episodes drop. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, season one, episode 15 beating hobby burnout yeah this is remastered this is that yeah again again <laughs> but better yeah hopefully if you uh, listen to that and you're still listening now wow what's why? wrong with yeah. you <laughs> no i no, mean at seriously. this point it's on you and thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course thank you uh, we had to both re-listen to the episode to do this one mm. and the whole time i'm just cringing yeah i was too it I was, was a constant state of cringe yeah it was a uh, uh yeah exactly yeah. constant state of cringe <laughs> i was just like the yeah. whole time <laughs> the, obviously people listening can't see but you can I'm hear cringing. you can <laughs> okay, hear him good. cringe good it comes through audio it, yeah. it does um yeah it was it was old and dated yeah even and, for our standards and online it was discord and i think that probably added to it it's a pretty terrible listening experience for us anyways yeah. to go back and listen to our old discord episodes um but there were some interesting tidbits in there so there i was. thought We'd explore, we'd open a little time capsule for you. Yeah. The first tidbit is it took us, what'd you say? 17 minutes to get into the 17 content. 17 minutes, 10 seconds. <laughs> to actually get into the content. That's something we tried to fix probably after that episode. I think so, yeah. Where we're like, look, let's do an intro. Yep. And let's just get straight let's into suck it. into it. But unlike, as, as a true throwback to yeah. that episode, we're going to spend some time first exploring yeah. <laughs> that era of our life. You know, that was before beers and banter and we actually... Mm. We would talk about what we're doing, like, for the week. You That's know, right. We'd be like, what are you painting? Oh, I'm painting this. Yeah. And, like, we'd have all that crap, which we normally talk about on Beers and Banter. Yeah. On our main episodes. And, like, yeah, okay. I was listening to it. And I'm like, okay, seven minutes. We're still talking shit. I'm like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. For a start, the first two minutes is before, is before the intro music starts. Yeah, so, yeah. And then, like, I'm like, okay, 12 minutes, still not about the topic. <laughs> and I'm like, 17 minutes. And then they're like... And like one of us said hobby burnout and i'm like okay here we go, here we go. We're, we're on here <laughs> and i we've still started. think it took more time because you wrote 20 minutes which is probably accurate yeah i just got to that point and i'm like that's, that's when enough. you stopped listening <laughs> yeah. i've heard enough here yeah 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 i think um you brought up an interesting point because i think we thought for some reason that that would be interesting to people yeah to spend 10 minutes at the start of every episode <clears throat> recapping what we a bunch of nobodies on the internet yep, had yep, been doing yep. in a podcast we just kicked off that no one knew about. Four months in. Yeah. We thought, yep. you know what people really want to hear about? What two fringe casual jobber <laughs> hobbyists have been doing this week. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, yeah. So we talked about that for what you were at the time painting Necrons. Yes, I was. Yep. A year ago. This, this was pre-Indominus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It In was. Fact, it was hobby. It was the. Um, it wasn't the GTO, but it was the Geelong 40k league that we were doing before the GTO. That's right. Because I was yep. building and painting wraiths and immortals. Because mm -hmm. um, you thought you'd add those to your list. Yeah, yeah, Tesla immortals, um, and you were painting Tyranids. I was, which. Which, you know, you would think, if you didn't know much about us, you would think, man, Fox has got some tenacity. A year still ago, those nids. he's painting nids, and nah. today, he's still painting nids. No, nah, different nids. Different nids. Entirely different nids. <laughs> Very different nids. In fact, I sold all of those nids. Yep. Some time passed. I'd per bought, bought and sold many an army. <laughs> and then Christmas of last year, I bought nids bought again. more nids, yeah. And those are the ones I'm painting. You still have them. I still own those currently. It's probably the longest you've owned models. Like the same models. Yeah, that's a great point. I wonder... It's a beers and banter thing. I'll yeah. write it down. <laughs> but I wonder what the longest standing army I have is. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm impressed that you're writing without looking at it. I don't know what it says. That's the beauty of <laughs> not looking just, at it. It's <laughs> fucking in ineligible. <laughs> it, it's Sanskrit. <laughs> um, what else yeah. is happening? I found it interesting that we, we referenced a person who posted on our Facebook saying that they just finished four and a half thousand points of world oh, eaters 
a, a, a young fella named Kane. Yeah, well, like some bloke named Kane just yeah. finished four and a half K World Eaters and he started a necro gang. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a necromunda gang. We know who that legend turned into, don't we? Uh, the rooster of radness. The raddest of roosters. Rad rooster. <laughs> How's that? Like, yeah. we're just like, ah, oh, this Kane dude commented on her thing. Little did we know he would become one of our main homies yep. in the Discord. Yep. Rad, you've been with us for over a year. A pillar of the community, some would say. You are. Many would say. Many. And anyone that doesn't, didn't so we'll find we'll find you and we'll fight you <laughs> we'll get kane to fight them yeah yeah um so that's awesome because there you go a little flashback for you, for you rad yeah that's what you were doing roughly a year ago today yep just yep. finished world eaters four and a half thousand points it's crazy do you play with those let us know in the discord <laughs> surely not surely not <laughs> <laughs> and of course we had our very first og patron which is now called the goat the greatest of all time yeah final yeah. dinosaur and he is a goat. He and is. also now a moderator. And a human. And a human. Yes. He's both a dinosaur and a human. <laughs> yes. That's funny. He's a dinosaur and his brother's name is human. Interesting. Yeah, his brother's name is probably not actually human, <laughs> but they're a little bit different over there in the <laughs> in that neck of the woods. So <laughs> in the Europe's. In the Europe's. Yeah. We were just doing a Euro- European dance before. <laughs> so then there you go. Not relevant to anything. No, not at all. Um, <laughs> this is a throwback to a year ago when we were terrible at this. So <laughs> What else was going on? Uh, we Yeah, so that yeah. was a week after launching our Patreon. Yeah, yep. And we said one of our goals was live episodes. We were talking about it like, um, what do they call it? Like rosy cheeks. Like, it was uh, just a glint in our eye. It was, wasn't yeah. it? And we're like, oh, it, you know, live episodes will be so good. They're going to be, like, we do this and, and it's going to be not heaps of fun for everybody. And then like, I was like, I swear it was like two weeks later, like, boom, all right, now we got to do them. And we're both just like, Oh shit! Yeah, okay. that's how right. are we doing this shit? We set it as a fifty dollar goal on Patreon, and we're yeah. like, "Hey man, if we ever get to fifty dollars, of course we'll do pe- live yeah, episodes." Of course. Yeah. And then the the like a week or two after we did that episode, we hit that goal, and we're like, "Oh shit, uh, Churchy! <laughs> by the way, yeah. we want to do live apps. We just don't know how." Yeah, Churchy, help us! <laughs> help! Help! And he's still here to it's this still day, helping us, helping us with everything. Just Churchy, like how we're like, we want to do this. How do we do it? And he's like. Ah, you fucking guys. just do just do this <laughs> just i'll come yeah. i'll bring all my gear yeah yeah except for the lamp that's ours we own that and this wall <laughs> <Don't> yell <laughs> you yelled <laughs> you yelled louder yours was aggressive mine was optimistic <laughs> mine was excited yours was terrifying <laughs> well, this gonna... is <laughs> and this wall <laughs> And I'm like, and our lamp, <laughs> which is just our, it's our lamp. It's all of our lamps, but yeah. I can't stress this enough. It's just my lamp. And it's a patron's lamp too. <laughs> oh, any patron could touch this lamp. Yeah. But if like it came to a legal case, it's our lamp. <laughs> it's your lamp. It's my lamp. Yeah. <laughs> If we ever get divorced, I'm taking the lamp. <laughs> I'll fight you for it, dude. <laughs> no, don't. You, just flex on me because you're bigger and could beat me up. No, I meant legally, but oh, sure, okay. physically as well. <laughs> you beat, beat me twice. <laughs> beat me in the in courtroom. The court and the street. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right. Let's take the lamp, Shane. It's not worth it to me. Um, My before, dental fees will be more. Anyways. Before yeah. this turns into a uh, season one, episode 15, Church, yeah. you went to like 17 minutes yet? <laughs> We're actually stalled nine, nine. Okay, nine. And it still feels like way too long to it not does. be talking about the topic. It does. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So I had, we're going to talk about our, our old mm. goals, our old um, hobby burnout tips. Yeah. Ways you can combat hobby burnout, yep. or at least the ways we did it a year ago. Yeah. And we'll reflect on if we A, still use those methods or B, if we don't, what do we do instead, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so hopefully out of this, you'll either be able to use some of our old <clears> tips <throat> that worked for past us, may work for present or future you. Absolutely. Or if not, stick around and at the end, we'll, we'll reveal some new ones. Some new tips. Hot tips. A tip so hot, <laughs> we call it Satan's foreskin, which I believe was a quote from that exact episode. It was, it so was. You set 12 months later, that. it's still funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and seven said, years after, yeah. me and Jacob Mears said it, it's still funny. <laughs> you said that such a straight face. You're, <laughs> you're like, after uh, a year, it's still funny. It's a great joke. Everyone loves it, Fox. I hope you keep doing it. It never gets old. Shane, I want to know. <laughs> What was your first tip for beating hobby burnout? My first tip was a, uh, a little challenge I set myself. It was a painting challenge. I would set myself... I, had, I I think I worked it out. The calendar 
Looking at the calendar. You worked out the calendar. <laughs> yeah, I did. Good. That's you a great start. It. Yeah, the Mayan There's calendar. In usually fact. 30 days, roughly. Give, give or take. Or take. <laughs> yeah. This particular month, yep. I had 20 days left, right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, 20 days, let's do 10 minis in 20 days. I remember you, this was your 20 day challenge. It was. Oh, man. I, I've never thought about it since, but I yeah. remember that existed. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So I, I set that goal. So, you know, one mini every two days realistic in a way super realistic some some look at look at it and be like is that all like sure you could do more well i mean i did oh did you fucking hope i did did you i did 18 minis in 20 days oh okay so i took two days to rest <laughs> <laughs> i mean you're basically god <laughs> you created and then you rest exactly <laughs> wow well you're my god because I, I don't think i've painted 18 minis all year damn uh, man yeah so that you was slayed it i did did i say that last year it's like deja <laughs> vu did. what is wrong <laughs> uh, we're caught in a loop this is grand Oak day all over again <laughs> yeah uh, yeah <laughs> wow man that's sick 18 minis 20 days if you kept that yeah. up you'd almost be at rad rooster numbers almost 400 minis across a year yeah but that's what a beast inhuman well he i mean he hasn't done it yet but i believe in him so much i'm oh. talking as if it's fact that's okay. his goal for this year sure you can do it, Rad. I believe in you. Um, so that was, yeah, that was my little thing that, that worked for me, obviously, <laughs> tremendously, in fact. Yeah. Um, you didn't just do your goal, you exceeded it. Yeah. Which, I mean, I can't fathom. No. If I set a goal, I just imagined scraping through and <laughs> sort of achieving it if I stretched the rules of the like, original well, goal. Look, I'll just call this one painted. <laughs> it's just prime. <laughs> it's just straight off the 3D printer. It's yeah. just a piece of terrain. I mean drains it's basically yeah. yeah it's, it's brown. brown plastic yeah. <laughs> done uh i haven't done it since okay yeah interesting don't know why i, I should have for the gto yeah i should have but i don't know it, it worked so well but just forgot about it i guess <laughs> well i'm glad we're readdressing it here <laughs> yeah exactly maybe, maybe how many days up? left in this month not me <laughs> you could do like four minutes dude this could be a two-day challenge <laughs> I'll start next month. I like that. Yeah. This, that'd be a cool follow-up. How many mu- How many days in July? It's 30 or... No one knows. Until something? you get to the month, you got no idea. True. That's how the calendar works. Yeah. You turn the page and then it's like, huh. How many days there? Oh, we'll paint that many models. Really? Yeah, one a day. You're I'm going to fucking do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was my little thing. I haven't done it since. Um, just don't know why. Yeah. I mean, it worked, that... so why, why haven't I done it again? <laughs> what are you asking you me know? for? <laughs> I'm asking the universe. <laughs> answer me. <laughs> well, you know what? You must not be God, because you would be able to answer Well, that, I then. mean, if I want, like, I mean, it makes sense that I am God, that no one's answering me. Oh, of course. Because I'm not answering myself. But you also don't know the answer. Or is that a trick you're playing on us? It might be. You know, you're like, um, Segarak, <laughs> the laughing God. <laughs> Exactly. playing a trick you tricky little fuck <laughs> <laughs> um yeah man i you know what i think it'll be a good time as well um to do you'll probably end up having to do the 20 day challenge because like the gto is this weekend yeah and that'll so that's like the fourth or fifth or whatever yeah you, then yeah. you'll need you'll need a break oh yeah i've already taken monday off there you go <laughs> I you know my boss i'm like got a big weekend man i'm not coming in monday <laughs> Or you, Friday. What, what do you got on? You wouldn't understand, yeah. but it's bigger than you think. <laughs> He'd be like, wow, that guy's going to be doing like a white Christmas early or something. <laughs> Which is where you do coke over Christmas. I, I but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you listening at home. By the way, this is not a family-friendly podcast. Never no, has been, never will be. We don't condone anything. <laughs> so that's interesting. I'm curious. I think you'll enjoy it. After painting Gene Steeler Colts for so long and stressed out, like this is, you're not in <clears throat> sit back and enjoy painting mode. No, and get shit done, mate. I'm actually sweating right now that I'm not painting. Yeah, it's like, right. can you guys just hurry up, fuck off, so I can go? Paint? I don't have time for a bit of banter. <laughs> You're chewing into valuable uh, acolyte hybrid time. Exactly. Yeah. Oh so, God, I forgot about the acolyte hybrids. Oh God. Oh, um, shit. So my tip. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you don't really do it now, but you don't know why. You think you might do it again? Yeah. It might be more of a seasonal thing for you. Maybe. Maybe once a year, every now and then, you throw yeah. that throw that in there. To... A little challenge. I've never. I couldn't. I'd never. I will never will. I never will. <laughs> My first tip was just do something. The well, I don't know if this was in order. I can't remember. But it, like the death by a thousand cuts method yep. of just painting something every day. Yeah. Doesn't matter how much you do, how little, how much. <laughs> just get paint on plastic every day. Yeah. Uh, and you'll feel productive. Absolutely. That's the goal. Yeah. Um, is that tip still useful to me? 
Not really. No. <laughs> uh, I do try to do this pretty constantly. Yeah. But it's 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 never usually something that helps me beat hobby burnout. No. It's something I can do to sort of use up the last 5% of hobby motivation I have. Okay. So it's like, I don't really feel like hobby, hobbying, but I'll just do something. But usually I will for a week or so. Yeah. And then I'm completely burnt out. So mm-hmm. it doesn't actually help me combat it. In fact, it helps me get further into it. However, then I'll do something that helps me beat hobby burnout. Yep. And at least then I have done 5% more of a project. Yeah, yeah. Because I really push through yeah. past the point of enjoying, I guess. Yeah. So I, I don't think it's a good tip. If I'm not feeling hobby, I really don't feel like just putting paint on plastic. Does it necessarily have to be painting though? Like, could you be building or cleaning or That's basing? true. Yeah, it does. It's all encompassing, um, <clears throat> which sort of plays into a one of my new tips that I'll talk about at the end. So to some degree, I still just do something yeah. as often as I can. Yeah. But again, it's not really something that helps me overcome complete burnout. That's fair. It's more of something I can do if I'm just not feeling 100% motivated, yep. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it didn't really... That might work for some people. I think, like, when, when I was doing this, it absolutely did. I, I remember thinking back and going, I really did just slap a little bit of paint on something for a month, and that was the most I'd sort of painted for that entire year. Yeah, that was before you'd done your Necrons yeah. recently. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. So, that was good. Um, what was it? I was painting the Tyranid kill team and then I did the blades of my Grey Knights. Wow, yeah. And then yeah. I did, um, I painted like a little Death Guard thing with a contrast method. Yep. Then I touched a few Space Wolves. Then I did the Space Foxes. Mm-hmm. So like over that month, I'd actually done a fair bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's probably like your tip where it's like sometimes these things work for a time. Yeah. Like a month here of the year and yep. then it worked but the next time you try and do it, it doesn't. So... That's a technique that works for me. You, you do, do that. that. Absolutely. I do it all the time. Um, just a bit of something. Yeah. Like, it's like, I'll base, just do one base, or I'll build one guy. You just try and constantly... Yeah. If I've got, on, like... Stay on the thing. If I've got, like, 15 minutes of nothing, like, I'm waiting for, for something after work, or even before work, sometimes I get up and I'm like, oh, I'm 10 minutes early. Yeah. I'll just do a little bit of something. Yeah. It's never much. Like... Yeah. I don't know if it, it adds up, but... It, it definitely does eventually i suppose but like it might be like clipping out one guy off a spoon that's it yeah that's all i do yeah you and know what that but even that has helped me before because the yeah. next time you touch that project at, at some point you go back to projects because yeah. the same passion you had for it when you first bought it will return absolutely it's bred into you there's a reason you got it yeah and it will probably nine times out of ten come back around and when you do you're a little bit further in than last time because of past Shane clipping that dude off sprue. True. That's true. Now you just got to glue it on, clean it up, put it away, and then future Shane, all he has to do is prime it. paint it. it. Yeah, I'll And prime then the next guy yeah. will paint it. <laughs> the next guy. <laughs> and then the next guy. Sorry, I was thinking about selling it. And then <laughs> what the next guy was going to do. <laughs> um, but this, come, this follows on from that tip. And this is my tip number two. Clean your hobby space. Yeah. If you don't feel... Oh, this is my... This is the only one I've always done. Yeah. It's my tried and true. Yeah. It's the one that still works for me. I even did it yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's like, yes, I don't feel like hobbying. Yeah. Don't want to paint. I don't want to build. I don't want to work on bases. Death by a thousand cuts. Miss me with that shit. <laughs> I don't want to have a single cut. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll clean and reorganize and sort my hobby space. Yep. And sometimes it's already clean. And then I'm like, what do I do? So I just open my cabinet, move my shelves around. <laughs> Make it messy and clean it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <just laughs> spill numb oil everywhere and be like, oh boy. <laughs> better clean this <laughs> some silly side made a mess <laughs> <laughs> i'll fix it though yeah sometimes i'll just organize my paints or yep. whatever and and usually i start at the desk it doesn't take long to clean that up because yep. i keep it pretty tidy these days then i go across to my cabinet and i look at it and it's a bomb because like you know i've rummaged through to pull oh, out my crude yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah started yeah. building those and be like oh fuck that not feeling it put it away pull out something and it's a bomb so i yeah, clean yeah, and yep. sort all that and usually by the time i finish that I've discovered something like I'll be like, oh, here's my grey knights. Oh, oh, yeah, that you pull something out of the cupboard and you just go, you fall in love with it again, don't you? Yeah, for, at least yeah. for a moment. Yeah, and it's at that moment that now I have a clean desk and my paints are all ready to go. I'm like, I'll either put this here and start this now, or maybe I've used all my hobby time. But <laughs> yeah, now it's on my desk ready to go. Yeah, for future me. So I love cleaning my hobby space. Like it's it's therapeutic to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like a constant spring clean. It is. 
now that I've got like all my like painting racks and that, um, I just like just putting everything back where it belongs. Yeah. You know, like brushes and tools and then paints. It's, it's so, nice. Do you sort them in like paint order? So you're like roughly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got like all this like the colors sorted together. Yeah. So my reds and, and blues and gr- hit the microphone. No. Cancel the episode. <laughs> Shut her down. Um, yeah, they're all sorted together. So like I kind of know what goes where roughly, yeah. and I don't, I don't use. I might use like. 10 or 12 at a time yeah so it's not like the whole shelf is fucking empty yeah it's so it's easy to figure what goes where but do you, it's nice <laughs> it's nice the the what what really highlights how little i know about colors and paint <laughs> and all that shit is when you know you go into like a or you see someone's desk in photos yep. Where you go into a store and they organize the paint so it flows. Oh, yeah. So, like, a brown will turn to an orange, which will turn to a yellow, which turns to a bone white, which builds up to a pale blue, which goes... Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's one continuous line and you can, like, see all the colors transforming and blending into the next. Yeah. I'll try and do that and I'll be like, how do I put something next to blue that isn't (laughs) blue? I mean, I guess purple, but then what? Literally, then what? (laughs) Then I'm like, red? No. Pink? No. No. But, I mean, I don't have every color in the world, so maybe I'm missing some transitional <laughs> I think, colors. I think so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I'm like, fuck, how do I even get by? How do I even paint, <laughs> paint stuff? So, I don't know what the point of that conversation was. I don't know. I'm garbage at colors, <laughs> color theory, all that stuff. Just paint whatever you want, dude. I do. Yeah. I do. And and you do sometimes well. that's nothing. Thank you. That's right. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? So, my two tips. Yeah. My other, my other tip for the time was uh, a whiteboard which I had objectives painted, uh, drawn on there. Painted. <laughs> painted. You really love written, painting, dude. Written? That's the word. <laughs> written. <laughs> Wrote it. Sorry. Um, big day for everybody. <laughs> oh, it's been a big day. So, yeah, I had a whiteboard which I had in my, well, was this room before it became the studio. Yeah. Um, with just a one through ten, and I just had things to do. Like, it would be like, paint a librarian or paint a five-man squad of whatever. Yeah. Paint a... a a rhino or i just had all these different things on there um and when i did them fucking big old cross through and you froth that i loved it man that was the best part of the thing (gasps) yeah done were you good at school sayonara what what do you mean well i mean just your two tips seem to be around being like goal oriented it's like doing an assignment and then finishing the assignment and getting like an a for it or something i was i was all right at school yeah yeah yeah, I went to school. <laughs> I showed up I passed, sometimes. I passed. <laughs> yeah, so you're like, you're like goal based. You like, I think so. Yeah, I've got to do. I got twenty days to do. Originally, it was ten models. Yeah, and if I do that, there's actually no physical reward except no. for the satisfaction of doing the thing I said I'd do. Yeah, yeah, and then the surplus, man. Like it's like, yeah, all right, let's fucking go for twelve. And then yeah, let's go for sixteen. And yeah. Then, you Did know? you ever do that on your whiteboard thing? Cross out a thing and be like. Oh, no, probably not, because you would just be like, well, on to the next project. Pretty much. I'll be like, yeah, I'll just like pick something else on the whiteboard. Um, I, I never I never went from like one and like went through step by step. I'd just pick whatever I wanted. Yeah, okay. It was normally the easiest thing, because like it would've was a win. win. Yeah. yeah. So then I'd did be like, fuck it. Did you ever deviate from that whiteboard or was that your one rule? Had to be on the whiteboard? I did, yeah. yeah What's that, the point of the whiteboard, Jane? Uh, that's <laughs> the whole thing. It all comes undone without the whiteboard, dude. It always unravels. Did you finish the whiteboard ever? Yeah, multiple times. Wait, that's not how that works. What do you mean? Like, I'd do the 10 uh, on there and then, you would... and then I'd fucking clear it and yep. then I'd write another 10. Sick. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. I wonder if... Maybe I'll try that. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that would work for me because what you're saying is the goal of painting something for you is the is what motivates you and the reward. Whereas for me, I have to ride the passion. I have to ride the hype for something. Yeah. So I couldn't look at a board and be like, paint five grey knights. If I'm yeah. like, I don't want to paint grey knights. <laughs> I don't have that discipline. Yeah. I want to paint crew. The thing is, you got to be like, fuck it. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. You, you, that's the dis- yeah, that's the discipline, I suppose. Like, yeah. You yeah. have to be like, no, no I've, I've picked that. Because at the time, you might be like, oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. And then, some, and then the next day, you'd be like, what was I thinking? Yeah. And you're like, no, I've, I picked it. I, I never I never made it a rule where like, I had to finish it. If I wanted to start something else on the whiteboard, I could. Yeah. Most of the things I put on the whiteboard were like half done projects anyway. That's good. So it was kind of like, let's just clean up. Like, this Tidy is, up loose ends. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Hmm. So um, that was my main goal there. Um, I think I might bring the whiteboard back. Try it. I'm curious to see if I could do it as just, well. Just try, just, yeah, just, can I borrow just, a whiteboard? I don't have a whiteboard. Um, you can actually use paper. Oh. Or even technology. 
Oh, I don't know about that. Like a, like a phone. <laughs> you can actually just get a digital whiteboard <laughs> yeah. on your phone. Yeah. An app, a whiteboard app. Do it. It's not big enough. It needs get to be at my iPad. hobby desk. Get a can I borrow LCD an iPad? TV. <laughs> <laughs> can I borrow a TV? <laughs> I haven't got a lot of stuff, Shane. Go to Office Works. <laughs> sold it off. Go to buy a whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. I'll buy, I'll buy a whiteboard. And after the GTR, I'll write some stuff on it. Yeah. Because yeah. some, sometimes with these hobby tips, you don't know if it's going to work for you until, until you, you do it. it. Yeah. 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 Some of them, I, I listen to and go, I'm curious about that. I don't think it would work for me, no. but who knows? Until you try it, you don't know. You don't know. And that's the thing. Like, the, these tips may not be for anyone else but us. Yeah. You know, everyone else might be like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Yeah, they're gone. They're all gone. They, <laughs> yeah. they stopped the episode. Of course, at nine minutes, they stopped yeah. listening. Yeah. They're like, all right, and that's... <laughs> That's a little beers and banter clip. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it's all a matter of just just having a go, just trying it. Yeah, but um, but yeah, that was my one again. Like I said, I haven't done it since then. All right, um, I did it. I I cleared it a couple of times before the episode, and then talked about it. But there you go. Have done it since then. And why not? Do you think just another thing where you're like, don't know. Yeah, just honestly, don't know. Um, you I, haven't really had a issue with painting since. No, then. not since then. No, no. I my last. My last issue with, with, with painting was when Wow Classic came out. <laughs> yeah, true. Which was what? Which was before the podcast. Oh, okay. I think. Thank God. I think so. Georgie, you'd know. <laughs> well, they, you lied. They didn't know. <laughs> Either um, you let us down or you did. <laughs> I'm, I'm clean on this one, boys. I think it was before we started the podcast. But um, yeah, okay. that's when I didn't paint for like three months. Um, yeah. But then I haven't really had this thing since then. Maybe the longest period was like two weeks. Yeah. And it might have been because I was on shift or... Or you just spent 20 just, hours painting a dreadnought. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I got burned out after that. Yeah. But, you know, all this pressure for the GTO, um, furiously painting every night. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I'm not feeling burnt out. I'm still feeling keen. I don't know if I'm just riding this wave of the GTO isn't here yet and I still got shit to do. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe after the GTO come Monday, I'll just die. Crash. Yeah. Like, yeah. like um, and then not touch something for a week. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe I'll be like, fucking finally stop I've painting Gene Steeler cards yeah. and paint one of my 15 war bands for Underworlds. And you know what? You're, you're <clears> going <throat> to find, once you paint this Gene Steeler cult army, if you're, if you're anything like me, which I've learned you, not at all. <laughs> Well, and sometimes we're at the exact same page, but yeah. the way we approach hobby is very different. Um, you'll find, I think this will unlock a new freedom because now you've got your painted 40k army yep. that you can throw on the table at 2, any time. 2,000 points. So never again yeah. will you be, will you have to be stressed about finishing a project because of a deadline or a game that you've got to do or when we start doing battle reports. Yeah. You won't be like, Jesus, I need a... I gotta paint this whole. I gotta finish off my blood angels. You don't have to finish off your blood angels. No. There's no reason. To, why would you to play with them? You can do that now. Oh, you want it for a battle report? You've got a painted Gene Steel Cole Yeah. That having the neck. Ever since I finished those Necrons, which was actually only recently with the Void Dragon, because mm. I had a list, but I didn't want to run it. Yeah. I wanted something tasty. Yeah. And now I've gone. Wow, I can just paint whatever the heck. God damn, dude! Now I think my next time is gonna be blood angels. Yeah, it should. It should. Okay. <laughs> but, I mean, there's no rush because you've already got... Once you finish your Gene Steel That's right. That's right. You'll be cruising. Yeah. Yeah. Having that back pocket thing always ready to play, fully painted if you need to. Yeah. is so freeing. So freeing. It is. What, um, what was your last two tips? Divide and conquer. Of course, divide and conquer. <laughs> divide and conquer. So you got a big ass project, which I always do because I'm yeah. retarded and I buy a whole army. Before. You can't buy anything unless it's two thousand points. Exactly, legit. <laughs> uh, except for crew, which is like two thousand points of crew doesn't exist <laughs> unless unless that's a lot so, of carnivores. <laughs> it's so many. <laughs> I know. Um, so you got a big ass project. Yeah, <clears throat> it's overwhelming you. Yeah, put put it away. Take, a sm- take 10 models and just yep. be like, hey, my project isn't 2,000 points of crew. No. It's these 10 models in front of me. It's these seven points of 10, 10 models of crew. <laughs> 10 crew <laughs> is, I want to say... 40 points. 60 points. It's not too bad. Guardsmen. Yeah. Guardsmen, yeah. but worse. Yeah. Which is silly. Guardsmen are cheaper? I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. I don't who cares? <laughs> <laughs> who gives a shit? <laughs> 10 points of crew. I mean, yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. 10 crew models. Yeah. That's all I have to paint. That's yeah. kind of what I'm doing at the moment, or rather 16, because that's what comes in a box. And I'm like, this is all I have to do. This is my little project. Yeah. 
not the rest of it. Now, does that still work for me? Fuck no. <laughs> I can't trick my brain like that anymore. No. I know... Your brain has outsmarted you. <laughs> yeah, for once. <laughs> it grew a bump. There's one bump on my smooth brain. And that one bump is like, no, nah, that ain't working. I have four for that again. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. You, you, you. <laughs> Fool me eight times. Shame on me. <laughs> Fool me nine times. Shame, shame on, on you. you. Wait. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, I could throw an army in a waterproof safe and throw it into the Atlantic, and I would still know I own that, and at some stage I have to get that done. <laughs> Pulling five dudes out doesn't yeah. make a difference. I might as well put the entire army in front of me yeah. and look at how daunting that, because it's the same. They laugh at you. They do. Oh, should I buy Harlequins? <laughs> Literally <laughs> laughing at me. Um, I'll see if there's any cheap ones. <laughs> see if there's any second handies. Any hand jobs. Second hand jobs. <laughs> um, yeah, so in fact, having the entire army now, so the exact opposite of that works yeah. for me. Yeah. Having the entire army in front of me like I do for my nids. Yeah. Know, I mean, I've done. So, <laughs> but it helps to be able to paint it. And because yeah. I remember what they all looked like when they were just all primed black. Yeah. And so when I finish this one and put it there, and I'm like, oh. Hang on, that, that looks, looks okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you paint a second one and put it there and you're like, oh, that, that black, black cloud <laughs> of uh, disappointment <laughs> and anxiety. It's slowly fading. It's fading. Yeah, there's a silver lining. There is. Silver, yeah. Necrons. Yeah. They were easy to paint, goddamn. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. yeah, the exact opposite of that works for me. I can't divide and conquer. No. I have to take, face take the whole all. army. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the second one was set, set the space up and take a break. Um... So it's kind of similar to cleaning your space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But basically, if I know that I want to paint at some stage, maybe I've written it on the board or whatever. Yeah. Five dudes. Yeah. Or dudettes. <clears throat> Say five dudettes. Dudettes, yep. I'll set everything up for the... I'll put the five dudettes on the table, get my wet palette ready, I'll get a fresh palette. <laughs> yeah. Get all the paints, yeah. wash my brushes, put them in there. Everything's ready to go. So that the next time, if I'm feeling it, all I have to do is sit down and paint. It removes all the barriers of yep. setup or whatever. Um, does that work for me now? Not really. Still not. Still I no think, good. I think that doesn't work for me anymore because I'm a much wiser person now. No, that's a lie. <laughs> I like your chuckle. <laughs> um, because my hobby space is so organized, there really is such little setup time. Yeah. It's no longer a barrier. Yeah. Got my own space. My paints are organized. Yeah, because you didn't have a permanent setup back then. I used to have to choose between PC gaming and painting. I had yeah. one desk in the shed. Yeah. And so it was like, oh, I've got to pack up everything, push it to the side, set up the lamp, and it's not a good one. And I'm in a dark lit room, so even that one light's not enough. And then, yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah. It didn't um, facilitate. You in your current house back then? No. You were still in the old place? Yeah, I was. In Fuck. fact, at the start of the episode... The light didn't even work in my <laughs> yeah. old shed. Yeah. And I said you had white privilege because you had working lights. I had electricity, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's well, right. I mean, you had electricity, but just no lights. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I think Churchy had one combination of like... One yeah, light working, one not a... Yeah, yeah, I can't I remember. remember. We're, 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 oh, we've got more patrons since then. The so yeah. so when we say you help keep the lights on, we mean literally. Literally. And also the lamp. And the lamp. Um. <laughs> yeah, so I was in a moving house helped. Yeah, dedicated yeah. a new space. Yeah, now I've got both. Get this computer space. No computer. It's, it's at the studio <laughs> now, uh, which has become now building desk and painting desk. Yeah. So I mean that's kind of one of my new tips, I guess. Yeah. Is having multiple projects that I can just yeah. not feel in painting these guys. I'll build these. Yep. Yep. Got a little terrain and basing section as well. Of course. So I've got little. Three little stations. Little stations, and yeah, just pick yeah. And choose them. Nice, so, dude. That works for me. Hey, if it's working, man, keep it going. I think it is working. I'm painting some shit. Yeah, for the first time in forever. <laughs> so, I'm curious about your new tips, though. My new tips. What do you got for us? What's working for you now? Well, at the moment, I, I like I said, I'm not doing either of my first two tips, which worked phenomenally. At that one time that At you that did them. At that one time that I did them, yes, yeah. yeah. But um, but now I'm basically forcing myself to paint, which is bad, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Like, um, I think I've, it's because of G, uh, the GTO. It's a yeah. deadline there that's that's looming over me. Yeah. That's that's getting shit done. Yeah. I don't know how it will work once that hard, solid deadline is gone. Yeah. Like, if I just say, I have to get this done by next weekend because I said so. It's like, I'd be like, 
get fucked. Yeah. You know? Who just, the, yeah, the no, lamp? Myself. That's where the lamp. <laughs> yeah. No, um, uh, yeah, true. Yeah. It's like, yeah, ultimately you'll go, well, but what if I don't though? Yeah. Nothing's going to happen. But what if I don't? But what if I don't? <laughs> Unless. <laughs> but then again, you also have shown that some t- your discipline is enough so that if you say, I've got 20 days and I've got to do this, yeah. you'll not only do it, but, but I think that was a more realistic goal. Yeah. It wasn't a stressful goal. No, it, was it wasn't. You're doing it was... for you. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the GTO, you are doing for you, but yeah. Well, not really. You're doing it for the tournament because we're both like, you know, we were both. It was stress free. We're having a great time. We'll laugh. We'll be like, oh, whatever. If we bring unpainted model, who gives a shit? Yeah, and then it's and it turns out we give a shit. We do because yeah. it's uh, re rolls to hit and wound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're like, oh shit, we got paint. God damn it, Dave. So, but also thank you because now we're painting stuff. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. but if I don't get my models done. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> hell hath no fury like an unpainted Shane. Um, that's that's getting shit done. Yeah. Um, and actually, it's also, I'm looking forward to a palette cleanser. Okay. Like, so something else to paint once I've done these. Yeah, so, a reward. Uh, yeah, basically. Like, you know, a few new Underworld's Warbands have come out. And I like, I want to paint them. I mean, you need more. I, I guess whenever they come out, I need to get them. <laughs> <laughs> and paint them, if you wish. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'm looking forward to, to doing that once this is done. Once my G- yeah. once my genius are done, um, I've got, I'm sport for choice. Yeah. So that should be good. Might organize like a lucky dip kind of thing and just like, just pick one out and fucking Hell yeah, dude. paint it. I, I need know. to get a new one from like, the Diacasm's the newest yep. thing. I should know because we're giving away a Diacasm. they got scaly thing. boys. Like the... Bone Reapers. Oh, really? Yeah. There you go. Done. Yep. I want a new set because, like, I had fun with my Skaven, but you know, they're like a lot of their cards that yep. were made for them are old and outdated. Yeah. And not usable. Well, I mean, I mean, you can use them. Of course you can. But I'm, re- you know, smooth brain. <laughs> if I can't use it at a tournament that I'll never play in, yeah, <laughs> then I'm not using them. No. Nah. <laughs> so I'd like to get a new one. So yeah, we should uh, we should do that as a thing. Yeah, a paint off. A paint off. I don't paint off you crush me but let's Dad, set a goal you just airbrush everything yeah true you're fucked <laughs> you'll, you'll be like i've done and i'm like <laughs> still on the first one <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna go with this base <laughs> yeah. they're pre-based Shane. i didn't like them <laughs> they are pre-based aren't they yeah oh the yeah. dream um but yeah that's working for me so what just forcing yourself to get stuff done basically yeah because but you think it might be specific to the fact that you have that forced exterior deadline absolutely yeah 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 it's so someone it's, else forcing you to get it's shit target done. acquired boys saying you, you gotta get this shit done otherwise now, maybe now. pretty much <laughs> yeah 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 so that's that's what i've got going it's that's relevant to the moment well it works for a lot of people some people yeah. uh, so many people mostly people like me that are focused on just playing 40k but yeah tournaments is what makes them get stuff done yeah if there's who put this here? <laughs> it's been there the whole time. I literally don't drink water. <laughs> That's a weird looking beer. It's vodka. Send the vodka. Um, yeah. Some people, if, if there's no tournaments for a year, they paint yeah. nothing. Yeah. That's rough. So you're like that at this particular point in time. Yeah. I reckon if, if we, we start, start doing 1K, 40K, 40K eventually, one day, like, like we mentioned a year ago. A year ago, yeah. Um, then that, that would motivate, motivate you as well if we started doing yeah. games or whatever. To be fair, COVID like kicked us in the dick. Uh, it's no excuse. What what for? Oh, you mean tournaments? One K, forty K. Oh yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant yeah, for painting. Yeah. I was no, like, no, that's it's, actually it's actually what we should have made it yeah. more than yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It really did. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but we we were just talking about that this week. So we got some stuff in the works. Yeah. I don't know who I'm winking at. You. What does it sound like for audio people? Like what <laughs> winking? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Audio people. <laughs> <laughs> maybe i don't know if your eyes are like pussy or something oh. <laughs> uh was that all your tips please <laughs> yeah uh no way that was it's one. one or it's well it's, Four. it's kind of like two blended together but okay that's yeah one okay what was your second one? Oh, content. Oh, no content what's that content oh uh, yeah you're content driven as in content for the podcast no uh-huh. like consuming content right we uh, i think we did talk about this last time like what kind yeah. of youtube videos we would watch yeah um at the moment you know i'm just watching movies man like just watching like i'll start a, a series and i'll just watch all the sequels and prequels and everything like i started with like oh ages ago i started with like the aliens right right so i watched the first one all, all the way through and then 
Transformers. I watched all the Transformers. Which really? Is the, like Even the bad ones? Now. Yeah. Which is yeah. all of them but the first two or whatever. Absolutely. As soon as Shia LaBeouf left, they went bad. He left. <laughs> nah, of course he left. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have watched them all. <laughs> yeah. It's my hero. Uh, um, and un- I've been watching Underworld right now. So it doesn't even matter what... Oh, the Vampires yeah, and the Lycans. And Lycans yeah. yeah. Great series. Kate, what's it, Kate Beckinsdale, I think doesn't matter. Oh, you both know. Okay, it does matter, I guess. <laughs> Just watch it, dude. Okay, okay. all right. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. You guys she's, are giving me the eyes. attractive. Yeah. Just show me the Lycans. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're yeah, are you the saying Lycans. you liken her a lot? <laughs> 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 uh, well done, everyone. We can go home now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, so you're not even talking like... It's not hobby related at all. No, sometimes it is. Um, sometimes I watch Rust videos. Rust? Yeah. Is that hobby related? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, base building, bases, maybe? Well, they did release new texture packs. There you go. It's basically, yeah. it's basically painting. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I just like something on in the background. Yeah. Um, I kind of, we t- talked about this last time, but um, I would struggle with like either watching something too much or focusing too much on painting. Yeah. Somehow I've managed to get a bit of a hybrid going on and I can, I can do both. So you can fully digest the content. Although it sounds like you're re-watching stuff. Yeah. So you've already got the foundational knowledge of it. Yeah. But you're still taking it in. Not like yeah. me where like I put something on and then as soon as I start painting, this doesn't exist anymore. No, nah, no. Nah. I'll look up and be like... I can listen to it, you know. Yeah. Or I can like glance at it and watch it for a minute and then keep painting or whatever. Okay. Um, and, and it's... Yeah. It's killing time. Is that something new for you? Like that? Did that work for you a year ago? Not well. No. Okay. Not well. Maybe no. because you've gotten into like a like you're pretty confident with your painting. Yeah. You're now no longer having to think about like the little things. You kind of so. like autopilot a little bit so you can flick up and pay attention yeah. to it on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Every time I, you know, clear my brush out or whatever, or I can watch it for 10, 15 seconds and then get back into it. That's a long brush cleaning. I'm just imagining you going. <laughs> Well, I mean, no, you got to you do that, and then you go, you wipe the, wipe the brush on your palette. And then yeah, you go, count that out for 15 seconds. And then you get, and then you get new paint. <laughs> One, two, <laughs> three, I'm not going to sit and listen to that. Just imagine 15 seconds of brush. Your brushes must be immaculate. <laughs> not really. No, no, maybe that's why they wear down so quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Abusing them. <laughs> you don't realize it, but for like three minutes, you've just been like... <laughs> Dry you brushing just it. Paint water. It fucking yeah, really. <laughs> You're drenched. <laughs> You're dripping. <laughs> the model's wrecked. Ah. Oh, yeah. 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 There you go. So just slapping on something to watch. Yeah, just in the background. Cruising. Basically background noise. Yeah. But yeah. Like this podcast is hopefully to many people. Hopefully. They've just tuned in. They've been like, like they've been painting and listening to this. They're like, <laughs> yeah. oh. no, wait, it's not interesting. Yeah. <laughs> they just mentioned us for a moment. <laughs> yeah. The listeners. Yeah. Okay. So that's working for me. Nice, like it. Yeah. Force yourself to get shit done. Yep. Watch something while you do it. Absolutely. So it's no longer a chore. Yep. As much. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. That makes sense. Yep. I have a controversial tip. Oh, okay, here we go. Controversial tip, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> um, this one is almost frowned upon in the hobby community. Really? Much, much of my painting is. <laughs> and this is a an epiphany I've had only recently. Because uh, I guess I'm a bit of a rebel of sorts. So <laughs> a lot of the hobby community yeah. tells you to do hobby in a certain way. They'll they'll always preface it by like, hey man, you do hobby your way. It's your hobby. Yeah, but, but make sure you base your models, paint your rims, drill your gun barrels, finish your models. Hang on. Is this an attack? No, no, no. no. <laughs> no this is an attack. No, no, you rightfully tell me to do all those things because I'm actually trying to finish my models. <laughs> You're I like, appreciate your... Oh, dude, I You've never this, told me to do it. And, and I'm like, it's good, dude, but... <laughs> where's, fucking, where's the rim? Where's the rim? <laughs> Rim's looking a little dirty there, dude. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing, you know, you like, you can take that and be like, oh, shit, yeah. I mean, you have to do that for your homies because if you don't say... Probably should have removed the mold lines, dude. Well, that would look sick without the mold lines. And then people go, oh, there's mold lines, you yeah, know? Yeah. Or like for me, I'm like, there's rims. <laughs> I thought they were just like, I mean, you don't even look at those, but you, I mean, you do. Of course. But that's the thing. Separates the model from the, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a platform. <laughs> um, you don't have to do hobby the way everyone tells you to no. do hobby. It's your hobby. Absolutely. And some people will find tips that suit them that are based on discipline because 
the way they enjoy hobby isn't actually like so much of the process. It's the completion. Yeah. So sometimes you have to power through, get shit done so that it's done and you look at it and go, hell yeah. Yeah. That hit of dopamine from finishing that job. Yeah. Is why I hobby. Yeah. That yeah, looks yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. Some people might go, well, I want to enjoy 100% of my hobby time. Yeah. So if there's ever moments where I'm not 100% loving this project and I've only done 40%, yeah. box it up. Shelf it. Shelf it. Yeah. Pull out a new one that you're feeling. Maybe, maybe you're like, like me and you just, you're yeah. like a little pet, a leaf petal riding the winds of hype. Yeah. And eventually you'll land somewhere. Because you'd be like, ooh, Necromunda. Yeah. Ooh. Sometimes it's so, yeah. The wind changes so quick. Yeah. Ooh, Sometimes I have enough time. Yeah. I did that though. I was like, ooh, Necromunda. I pulled out the box, pulled out everything. I'm like, fuck yeah. I literally clipped off the front chest part of a Palantine Enforcer or whatever it's called. Yeah. I was like, Whoa. I mean, that was a doozy anyways. <laughs> and put it away because Thank you the, you the, go. it wasn't my fault though. The wind changed. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm really feeling this. Clip it off. And it was like, oh, sorry, Necromunda. The carriage run overlords need me. And so I clipped three of the balloon boys off. Yeah. And then it was like, uh-oh, sorry guys. I just ordered some new needs. <laughs> and so I bagged up the little balloon boys and packed those away. And literally since then, I've uh, tried to sell Necromunda to you and the balloon Twice. boys I posted on Facebook earlier <laughs> yeah. uh, since took it down. So yeah. sometimes the wind blows me so far away from a project, I'm like, I don't need it anymore. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's one thing I would encourage you not to do. Don't sell your stuff. Don't ride the winds of, of hobby. No, 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 no. Do that. <laughs> because what I find I'm doing at the moment is every project I'm doing, I'm enjoying. Yeah. And when I don't, I just put it away. And it's ten percent more done. Yeah. And the next time the wind takes me over to that project, yeah, I'll do another ten percent, and then eventually, like for now, I'm enjoying my necrons and basing yeah. them. So I am, and then maybe I'll get called away after yeah. the GTO. But <laughs> then my necrons have been completely rebased and rimmed and rimmed. Eventually, maybe I'll even drill the gun barrel out of there. The gun barrels. I don't there. think so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. But so my. But that has nothing to do with my tip, by the no. way. <laughs> oh, okay. My tip is actually take a break. Take so, a break. Sometimes combating hobby burnout, the best way to do it is to just take a break. Kick your feet up. You don't have to paint no. every day of the year. No. You don't have to do any of this. No stuff. one's making you. No. no. In fact... Unless it's Dave and Lockie. <laughs> for a tournament <laughs> yeah. because of their re-rolls to hit into wounds. <laughs> They've basically got a gun, a gun to my head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah. Don't, you don't take a break at the moment. Oh, no. And I won't either because i got to get some shit done too. <laughs> yeah. But after this, I mean, maybe oh, we can take a break. We're kicking back. Yeah. Not the podcast, though. So. And sometimes just the idea no? of, what, the break, the <laughs> yeah. podcast. No, oh, we're taking a long break. This is our last episode, by the way. I don't know if we told you that. We'll talk more about that at the end. Um, but yeah. You can't some, leave it like that, dude. People <laughs> like, what? what? <laughs> no, no it's, we'll probably just drop season four or something. <laughs> nah, not till next year. <laughs> we're not ready for that. We're not ready for that. <laughs> No one was still dropping this kind of content. <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes I, I've done Ooh, this many times. Fuck. I've gone, you know what? Let's just pack everything away, sort everything out. I'm just going to focus on 3D printing. I'm just going to play a couple games and then take a week off. Yeah. Literally two days in, I'm so psyched to get hobby done. Yeah. Because yeah. all the pressure that I'd slowly been putting on myself yeah. to get projects yeah. done is just gone. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, wait, I only need to do stuff I want to do. Yeah. So, Yeah. That's that's a tip that may work for you. I feel that. If you're feeling burnt out, try not painting. <laughs> that just got a, I just heard a dislike get on, hit on a video. That one YouTube audience member just gave us a fat thumbs down. Like, Fuck you. <laughs> Paint every day. <laughs> or you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Um so anyway, that's big. See see how that works. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a doozy dude. Um no one says it. <laughs> Everyone's like all right, here are all the tips, us included last time. Here are all the tips to make sure you never stop hobbying, <laughs> yeah. ever. But you know what? You can. You're you allowed can. to. Absolutely. You can do whatever you like. You do you, boo. Thank you. Just quickly before we finish. <laughs> um, yeah. We last time did half hobby tips, half YouTubers. Unintentionally. Unintentionally. Yeah. Which was good because I think we talked about our tips for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And that was and like 30 YouTube minutes. And I was like, how's this episode going for 70 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> YouTube gave us an extra hour and a second wind. Minutes, <laughs> it was. Yeah. 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 But it was good because, like, these are the YouTubers we were watching at the time. Yeah. 
to help us beat hobby. That was another way of doing it. Put on hobby content, have that white noise going. Yeah. And that alone sometimes gets you hyped, you know? Yeah. So I think last time we watched a collection of... Who'd we watch? I can't remember. Miniac? Yep. Uh, Squidma? Yep. Uh, Tabletop Minions? Uncle Adam? Yep. And Juan and Hidalgo. Juan Hidalgo. Who I was using to test out... He uses, like, contrast paints. Yeah, his heavy paint. contrast range. Yeah. And yep. I was testing his videos. I was like, he looks stuff makes... He looks stuff makes so sick. <laughs> he makes stuff look so sick yeah. with contrast paints. Yeah, yeah. Surely a mere mortal like me can't do that. And it's true, I can't. But some of it looked okay. You did some pretty good jobs. Yeah. The Death Guard I'm particularly proud of. Still doesn't have a base though, so. Better fix that. I don't have to. I don't have to do that shit. <laughs> I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break. You know what? Okay, I'm out. <laughs> Season four starts. Never. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. Yeah, I need, I need to. <laughs> Didn't even drill his gun barrel. Probably has some old lines. But anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. who do you listen to now? Still, though, I mean, sorry, watch. You know what? I can't remember the last time I watched a Miniac video. You heathen. I know. Do you even, do you even like the hobby? I, I think so. <laughs> no, bro, I shouldn't ask you now. <laughs> You're at your lowest point grinding yeah. out Gene Steele Colts yeah. for the tournament. You'll get there. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I, like, I frog these videos. Yeah. Sometimes I like to, like, just let them build up and then yeah, just, yeah, like, binge, binge it yeah. hard, you know? Um. Uncle Adam, I still watch regularly. Yep. Um, and Luke's APS, another one. Or now it's called Geek Gaming, I think it's called. Oh. I may have watched Luke APS then. Yeah. And yeah. not know it. Because I think I watch... Yeah. Geek Gaming? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. He has all these own scenic range in that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. He does more terrain and bases and stuff. Yeah. Um, but for his videos, um, I even like to watch... Uh, a guy called Luke Towen, which you probably know, it's the um, Boulder Creek Railroad. He makes like oh uh, no, nah, not realistic a like railroad dioramas. Which you froth as a yeah, fucking love it. And guy. like he's an Aussie, and oh, like sick. and like he makes like a it man. It just looks like photo realist, like realistic. You know, like you can't, you sick. honestly he he sets it up, takes photos of it in like natural lighting with the backgrounds. You can't tell it's a, it's a diorama. Damn. What a beast. It's fucking incredible. We'll probably yeah. drop the links to these I think so, in people's the description. in the description. Yeah, yeah. Who who are you hitting? Um, yeah, yeah, I still... I mean, I don't actually do it a ton because I don't have a computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. But, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't really, like, help me because I can't take it in. I'm so one focused on my... That's why at Hobby Hangouts, like, conversation, I know it exists. Yeah. And, and someone will occasionally say Fox and I'll be like... <gasps> hopefully this is the start of the question <laughs> hopefully prefaced it by saying hey yeah. fox because if you have been talking it's it's gone i've been focusing on this well i did ask you once in one hobby hanger and you just full on ignored me and then i said all right well fuck you too then and everyone laughed and you still didn't say anything. Oh, really <laughs> yeah i was like oh that's shane the wisecracker having a go at one of them love that he's bantering with them yeah moose uh moose after one of them hit me up and he was like oh by the way and like the way he worded it, I was like, wait, you're, you're telling me as if we've had a conversation about this and I didn't answer you. Yeah. And I was like, hang on, did you say this to me? And I completely ignored <laughs> you during a hobby hangout. Cause I, that's on me, <laughs> but also I'm, I can only do one thing at once. Yeah. And he, he just laughed at me. But he yeah. was like, yes. Yes. Yeah. Effectively. Yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah. You, you blatantly ignored me. Yeah. You went full see you next Tuesday mode. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I can't do two things at once. So why put a YouTube video on that I'm not going to digest? Makes but sense. I got a couple of YouTubians. Yep. I don't know how to say his name. I always pick this. It's like Juan Hidalgo, but it's Angel Geraldes. Yeah. Gerald Z. Ger Geraldes. Anyway, the, the yeah, link anyway. will be in the, yep. the <clears throat> thing. Um, great. Oh my goodness. Insane painter. But like all amazing painters, the bulk of their stuff is on their Patreon. Yep which I'll usually like sub to one for a month and then like digest that and then move on to another one and yeah, yeah. spread it around and Share try and get off. a bunch bunch of different techniques and stuff. But yeah. even even his YouTube channel, which has all his stuff for free, obviously, yeah. is insane. And like, I never want to paint like that yeah. because that's like, you know, sit down and spend 20 hours on a single model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just not me. Nah. But I just love watching. But some of the techniques, I'm like, I could do that. I could incorporate that. Absolutely. 
into like a like speed yeah. paint everything and then go back and hit that on a few key models or whatever. Take different things and apply it to your own yeah. projects in your own way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So and he's just you've got you've got to go watch some of his videos. Again, all these will be in the description. We're pointing down to the audio people. I hope so for the future reference <clears throat> means down and whee means up. <laughs> okay. I, th- I figure we'll never use up, so... Wait, well, it? I mean, you just used it, and so... Oh. Another good one <laughs> is Zum- Zumikito Miniatures again. Oh, yeah. He's like a Russian dude or something. Yeah. I've seen him Big make... Big beard. It's like Russian churchy. Oh. Isn't churchy Russian? He's <laughs> he's Russian to get us a couple bevies. <laughs> now we're almost done. We'll get him ourselves. It's all good. I mean, unless you're heading out that way. Yeah, we, no. <laughs> we have no plans to go. No. You get yourself. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Fuck he's you. awesome. He's got like, you know, this method in five minutes, yep. this method. He's great to just like get pumped to do something. Yeah. If I'm yeah, like, yeah. all right, here we go. I, gotta, I want to try and wet blend. Just show me in five minutes. Yeah. Because I just want to get get cracking. Hell it's yeah. like a little refresher. But it also, yeah. So two good channels. That's what I use. Yep. But both of them to hype me to get painting, yep. not to have on whilst I paint. Okay. Eh. Makes sense. I'm going to watch it. You do you. We want to know us. your tips and tricks put them in the <laughs> I've already forgotten <laughs> so eyes. it's not what because that's yeah, us no, we... <laughs> oh, yeah, no. it's like... I don't know oh, put it remember. in the comments let us know discord facebook anywhere yeah um, hey, email us no, at <laughs> shane slayer 420 xx at hotmail.com at, hot, at, hot, <laughs> at hotmail.com <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah jump on the discord whatever. yeah 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 Massive thank you to our patrons. Yes, absolutely. We couldn't do this without you. Now we have more than two. Yes. It's been a long time. Yeah. A year later. A year we later. Have, we have four. Amazing. <laughs> 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 thank you. Yeah. So as always, massive shout out to Burnsy, Wack, Final, Foggy Highway, Joey P, Lockie, MJ, Lethal, Moose, Penny, Elko, Arkham, Caitlin, Dave, Churchy, Rad, or Kane. <laughs> Oliver, Hawkers, Tricky, Agro. Thank you all so much. Yep. Y'all are amazing. Can't do this without you. Absolutely not. And here's to hopefully another year of beating hobby burnout. Yeah. As best we can. Yeah. And uh, Patreon isn't the only way to support us. If you feel like it, jump on our website. You can grab yourself a t shirt. Not that one. <laughs> or you can go one. to <laughs> smoothmyballs.com forward slash hobby homies. Yeah. Buy yourself a manscaping kit yeah um we get a small kickback from that yeah so thank you very much um and um don't forget to check out the goblins forge yeah absolutely com. yeah he's got some insane models yeah i handle the terrain side of things you do if you see anything on there that you like go get it somewhere cheaper yeah yep not the models the terrain <laughs> stuff yeah his models are insane oh they are uh, i got some over there in the other room where you point at your door <laughs> well it used to be on the cabinet that yeah, was there it but it's gone now yeah i was actually uh i sent him some picture of te- pictures of test of honor cards today yep and that made me pull out all this stuff he's printed for me yep all these dope models that i can use in test of honor and i'm like that is on the chopping block <laughs> that's up there yeah it's right up there yep so definitely check it out and he's adding to his range all the time he's cycling his range all the time yeah link in the description absolutely we gotta get. To, let's. We've got to remember this. <laughs> Links. <laughs> yeah. You didn't write anything. It's Sanskrit. <laughs> okay. Of course. <laughs> Glad you can read it. Yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time. See you next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. It? Yeah. Maybe. So new sure. episodes every Sunday, every Sunday, and beers and banter's most weeks as well. Wednesdays ish. Wednesdays ish. We're yeah. gonna try and help you beat Hump Day, or at least break up your week a little yeah. bit yeah cruise into the weekend more frequent beers and banters hopefully yeah and some other exciting stuff happening coming to episodes near you yeah puka 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 puka